James, also known as James the Just, was a leader in the early Christian church in Jerusalem and the brother of Jesus. The book of James in the New Testament is actually a letter attributed to James and considered one of the general epistles. Written primarily to Jewish Christians who had been scattered throughout the Roman Empire, the book contains practical advice on living as a Christian. James is writing because Jewish society at that time, as our society is today, it was plagued with classism, the same stratification that we saw during Jesus' time on earth. It was a societal belief that by virtue of being in a certain group, you deserve certain privileges and a certain level of treatment and respect. James starts our lesson by dismantling that societal tradition. Christianity teaches that all people are equal in the eyes of God and that every person is created in God's image. He cautioned the church about unequal treatment based upon socioeconomic status. In that day, Jews those in the Jewish tradition and those in the Christian tradition saw wealth and assumed that God has blessed the person so that they must be better than others, more pious. Conversely, society assumed that if you were poor, you must have made poor decisions in your life, including sin, and therefore you were not blessed by God. James cautioned against those views, saying it makes you a biased judge, in essence, an evil judge. Let's don't dismiss this lesson as irrelevant today. The same classism in place then is in place in today's society and in our churches. Middle class and wealthy people are perceived as smarter and more capable than working class and poor people. That perception tends to make us give opportunities and positions to them or their children because we know they can do it. Gender stereotypes provide religious opportunities for some while leaving others back. More than 60 years after Martin Luther King described 11 o'clock on Sunday as one of the most segregated hours in Christian America, data says it is better, but it still is a true assessment. Researchers at the University of Michigan found that darker skin tones increased the perception of discrimination and criminal activity. Ageism results in the perception that seniors can't learn new skills and consequently we offer opportunities to those who are younger. Studies have even shown that there is a link, weak but still notable, there's a link between your socioeconomic class and the denomination that you belong to. James writes to the church to pause and look inwardly. God chose those who are saved not on merit or qualifications. Salvation is not offered to the rich man in order to get his money. God does not choose the poor because of their poverty. God's choice is based upon his grace and purpose. By making distinctions based upon outward factors, the church dishonors the poor by aligning themselves with the rich against the poor, pitting person, Christian against Christian. Providing privilege based upon outward factors, the various biases that may be tradition, is still siding with God's enemies, inconsistent with the egalitarian doctrine of Christian belief. James reminds us that Jesus put special emphasis on the commandment that you should love your neighbor as yourself. Here, he is reminding us that the poor man is just as much our neighbor as the rich man. The same goes for the Jew and the Gentile, the male and the female, the American born and the foreign born. They are all our neighbors without distinction. James is 
a practical apostle. His book is a veritable how-to manual for Christians. In explicit terms, he says that to respect a person, partiality, favoritism, bias, discrimination is a sin. This Christian church, our Christian faith, was the first faith that was not built primarily on ethnicity, but on our acceptance of faith in Jesus Christ. The biases of the world would tear up this diverse church. We see the results of that even today as we see the lingering impact of how Christianity was distorted to justify slavery, the oppression of women, and discrimination. We are all the same. We are all precious in God's sight. However, the world wants us to say we are precious, all of us, but everything from the word but to whatever ends that sentence is not in the Bible, is not of God, and is, according to James, a sin. That's the lesson for this week. Have a great week. Bye.